Hello, how you doing? Okay. So I got here. Yeah, my my dirty laundry here. Um, so this video is about the trick to how to smoke marijuana with your children. How to smoke marijuana with your children. So when my son was two and a half years old, we were a family of Rastas. You know, that, that's what I looked like right there. There's my son. At the time I was married and my ex had dreadlocks too, so we were a whole family of dreadlocks in our car. And uh, we, we just got through eating some burritos and we're smoking a cigarette actually. And a cop saw us blow the, saw this dreadlock family blowing smoke out of a car parked off the side of the freeway. So the cops pulled over and said, do you have any illegal drugs in this car? And I said, uh, yes, officer, we have some marijuana, but it's okay. We're Rastafarians. And he said, uh, in the state of Utah, we do not recognize Rastafarianism as a valid religion. Um, you, you know, you're under arrest, blah, 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 whatever. So it was in the middle of summer and it was like 90 degrees out. So they had my ex and I go into separate cop cars. And, um, and I said, they, I said, do you want me to show you where the pipe is? They said, no, 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 we'll find it. And, and they searched the car for probably like 40 minutes. And I was like, I'll knock it on the window. Hey, you guys, you know, my son's in there. He's going to get heat stroke or something. And uh, they, they wouldn't listen. And then pretty soon they finally gave up and, and they couldn't find the pipe. And um, it was just an empty pipe with resin in it. And so then I just told them, yeah, it's, it's over. It's in between the, the seats, blah, blah, blah. And so they went over and they found it. And then finally let my son get out of the car. I was so pissed. And so anyway, so the... The cops, uh, they, it, it was just a misdemeanor charge to have just a pipe with resin in it, but in court, they, uh, we settled on, it was, the thing is, is it was a felony charge to have a, a pipe within two feet or something like that of the child, and technically uh, where it was hidden, it was like a couple feet from my son, so that made it a felony. So they said, look, we'll drop the felony charge of a uh, clandestine, um, methamphetamines which is the same charge um, if you have a marijuana pipe within two feet of your child it's the same charge as if you have a meth lab in your house so they said look we'll drop that charge if you settle for the largest misdemeanor charge of cannabis that you can have that way you won't have to be a felon so that's and so that's what so they settled in court that I would have a charge of a uh, half ounce or whatever of cannabis, which was the m most you could have before it was a felony because it was within two feet of my son. So then uh, later in court, you know, that made it a legal case with my son. So now my son was in the system. So they took my son that, right there on the scene. I didn't see him again for a long, for like a month. We got to visit him and he was, he was, in cuss, he was over in a, like a foster thing for three months. It was the most the horrible time of my life. It was super painful, and so the they finally uh, the the child case, they they met with uh, my ex and I uh, in a at the child services place, and they had a meeting with us, and they taught us what what I'm teaching you now in this video. They taught us how to smoke marijuana with your children. So the, the thing is, is that if you, cause they said, look, you guys are Rastafarian, you know, you're about ready to get thrown in jail and everything like that on your personal case. But as far as the legal case between your son and you, um, we know you're going to smoke again cause you're Rastafarians. You don't, we don't even want to hear your lies. Just, this isn't about that. This is about the child case. They said the only reason it had to be a child case is because you had, you had that pipe within two feet of, of your child. Okay, so so they said if you're going to smoke cannabis, uh, how you do it is you, you, you never have it around your child. You, they, as long as they don't see it, smell it, 
or be around the smoke, then then it doesn't have to be a legal case with your kid. It'll just be a legal case between you and the state, but your kid won't have to be involved. And then you won't have to lose your kid. So then um, then I went to court. The, the lawyer said, yeah, you're, we're going to lock you up because you went on a Mormon mission and therefore you should know better. I guess they believe the Mormon church is true. And so then after I got out, I, I practiced that from the time, you know, my son was two and a half. So for my son's whole life, I smoked cannabis the whole time, but he never saw it. I, he was never exposed to the smoke. He never saw me smoke it. You know, it was my religion, so I would talk about it. You know, as I would read the scriptures, I would explain, you know, this scripture's talking about marijuana and everything, cannabis, you know, and, and he knew what I believed, but I just, I never expose them to it so that if I ever did get in trouble, it wouldn't have to be a legal matter. So that's the whole trick. That's the trick. That's how you smoke marijuana with your children is you'd never do it around them. As long as they don't see it or smell the smoke and are exposed to it, then it doesn't have to involve them, you know, and, and don't have it anywhere within two or three feet of their, of them, you know, even if it's like hidden in a car welded inside of a metal box underneath the car it, it's they'll they'll turn it into a legal case you know so that's the trick to smoking cannabis with your children